It's Tuesday, it's about half seven and I'm just waiting for my Tesco's delivery to be to arrive and I thought I'd do like a little grocery haul with you guys. Um, I love watching grocery hauls, it's like a guilty pleasure of mine. It's so good for getting ideas and just being nosy at what people buy as well. It gives me a lot of inspiration. So yeah, um, we only have one monthly grocery shop, I make it last all the month and I make sure we eat absolutely everything before we order another shop so because it's just me and Archie um, we eat a lot of leftovers I don't I try not to chuck anything away um, say like I'll cook a big meal and then I'll um, we'll eat the leftovers for lunch or dinner the next day I don't I hate food waste and also I freeze quite a lot too so like onions I'll chop them up and freeze them just to make it last the month things that would usually go off I'll put in some of the things I'll put in the freezer but I'll show you um I'm just trying to think obviously like things like bread milk and bananas I will go to the shop and buy those throughout the month I'm not gonna like make us go without so yeah I think that's about it oh and we're away this month as well um, for four, five days at Bluestone, yay! So obviously we're going to be taking some food because it's self-catering and I can't really afford to for us to eat out all the time. Uh, so I'm going to take some food, all our snacks, breakfast and everything like that and I think I've budgeted for us to eat out for one meal each day so that'll be nice. It'll probably be lunchtime because that works best with Archie. By the time it gets to evening, he's a bit ratty and just wants to go to bed, really. So, um, yeah, we'll probably eat out every lunchtime there. So this shop came to £111, it did. And, yeah, I went a bit wild on the cleaning stuff this month because it was all half price. I probably didn't need it, which was a bit... But, hey-ho, it's stocked up now. The cupboard's stocked. Hello. So I thought we'd get started on our grocery haul. So... Like I said, cleaning products, all these were like half price. I think these were just a pound. So, let me... Yeah, I think these were just a pound in Tesco's at the moment on a half price offer. So, I stocked up on these even though I don't actually need them. This huge comfort was just four pound. That was an absolute bargain. Got toilet rolls, bin bags, some um, scour brushes. Um, buy one get one free on the Johnson's at the moment so I got two of those even though one's leaked which is a bit of a pain um treated out to some sponges <laughs> some toothpaste nappy bags they're always useful to have in our changing bag and for wet clothes and stuff um uh, loads of wipes we seem to get through so many but um these are just the best ones I've ever found they're so cheap and this clip bit means it seals in all the wetness yeah it keeps them really moist anyway so nappies right we usually tend to go with the loves babies in the day the tesco's own brand and then pampers at night so i've got three bumper packs which will definitely do us for the whole month right. so moving on we've just got cat food i bought probably too much of this because um, we're going away, so my mum's actually feeding the cats too, so I don't want um, her to run out. So, moving on to here, we've got Archie snacks. I've got two packs of these gingerbread men by Organics and two packs of these mini cheese crackers. Now, these are just, they're individually wrapped, and I've gone for more things that are individually wrapped than I would usually, mainly because we're going away, so they're going to be nice and easy to take with us. And also these, I just want to show you, they're fab for lunch times, spread with hummus or something like that, he loves those. These are a treat because they are so expensive, I think they're two, around 2 50 for 6 bars, which I think is very expensive. So yeah, they're coming away with us. Some packs of raisins and some Tesco's own brand rice cakes. 
then I've got a six pack of what's it and then my treat to take away with us is Thai sweet chili crisps I'll eat those in the evenings for sure right so moving on got these to try this month they are chocolate covered rice cakes now I actually saw them off another vlogger her name is Claire Witt from the Wick family I'll link her YouTube channel below she actually suggested these so I bought them in white and milk chocolate and I can't wait to try them with a cup of tea later so eggs we'll probably have to buy more eggs during the month because we get through loads um, wholemeal pita bread so I'm going to put one of those in the freezer so two packs of cream crackers we've got sweet corn two tins of those two tins of tuna just Tesco's own baked beans three of those and three tom chopped tomatoes for lots of cooking or lasagnas i bought a white lasagna pasta sauce because i was feeling lazy usually i usually make it myself but and a hollandaise sauce to go with some salmon too we've got a big thing of pasta we eat loads of pasta and pesto there's two little jars there i find just the tesco brand really really good as well so yeah we've got some caramelised onion hummus. I actually, actually like the caramelised onion too. It gives a good bit of a kick. Some ham, mild cheddar and some puff pastry. That will go in the freezer. If I might link a picture of what I did today, which is some spinach and feta cheese pinwheels for Archie and myself. And they were absolutely... Actually, I've got them over here. Let me just show you what we made today. Yeah, so we made these today just with some spinach, feta cheese and pesto and obviously the puff pastry. But yeah, they're great for lunch times and we're getting bored of sandwiches. So, milk, yoghurts, sweet potatoes. We eat loads of sweet potatoes, probably more than normal potatoes. And, and yeah, they're just really tasty. Pears, green beans, um, spinach, which is going to go in the freezer. Um, Tesco's bananas, we do, they do a really good one which is the eat me ones which are ready now and the keep me ones which will be ready in like a week or so. Actually it's a banana every day so they're great. I definitely need to get some more of those. Aubergines, we love aubergines. Aubergine lasagna or um, in pastas, they're just really good for bulking everything up. A cauliflower, mushrooms and sprouts for our roast dinner. Now lastly is our frozen stuff. Like. I will freeze some of the veg and some of the, like I know I've got a load of frozen carrots in there so I haven't bought any of those and parsnips too. So yeah, going on to our frozen stuff, we've got some chicken dippers, just for those emergency nights where we're really tired. Um, sausage rolls, these are really fab because they're just so quick. I think it's 30 minutes in the oven and they're just ready for lunchtime. They're great for when it's yeah when we're in a rush or something like that or we found something different for lunch and then moving on we've got skinless salmon fillets they're quite small actually but <clears throat> two chicken kievs and our roast chicken joint i get this one from tesco it's quite a lot i know it's really lazy but it lasts us like three nights and it's super yummy because it's covered in a garlic and herb coating so yeah, we're going to have that on Sunday with some sprouts and Yorkshire puddings. Now, minced beef. I've recently, we don't really eat that much meat, but recently I've been going to the Sunday market for all of our meat. So I think last week I got 10 chicken breasts for £10, which is super duper good. Um, but I don't really trust their mints. Not that I really should be touching Tesco's after that horse scandal, but... Yeah, I'd, I'd rather buy the mint from a shop. I know that sounds really silly. Anyway, this mint is just great. It's like a bag, a one kilogram bag. And um, it's, you can just um, cut, I cut the corner, just pour in the pan as much as you want, because obviously me and Archie don't eat that much meat. So pour in as much as you want, and then it defrosts in, like it cooks from frozen. So it's just fab and um, yeah you just do the bag up well i just turn the corner over and pop it back in the freezer it's really really good um yeah so that is our monthly food shop obviously like i said before we'll probably have to get the odd 
things like bread and milk and bits like that but apart from that that is it that is all we are going to eat this month thank you for watching